Okay, today we're going to talk about rods, different rods, loaded rods, plain rods, and also um, rod techniques. These, this is the rod that I build and sell, which is uh, um, you can put it in your pocket. It um, extends out to 24 inches. I don't use a swivel handle like this because I want to feel the rod movement. I want to, um, if it's windy, I can hold back and control it from blowing all over the place and moving everywhere with the wind. So you want something you can, um, that you're used to. Uh, I would stay with the same rod. I don't care for loaded rods such as this rod. This is a Dell, a Dell rod. But there's many rods out there. There's PMRs. There's a lot of rods you can put samples in. If you're going to use that, then you don't use you don't want to use generator stuff because you're uh, you're using the sample itself as the generator. This is a just a basic rod. This rod here swivels very easily, and it has. Uh, magnets placed in here for added uh, sensitivity there's some stuff packed in here I'm not sure what Dell has in there but um, it's in there this is a, a rod that Mike made um, it's kind of unique in that let's see if I can do this with one hand It has magnets in it and the rod just floats on the magnetic field. It's very, very, uh, very sensitive. Very sensitive. Um, like I said, there's tons of rods, okay? Tons. Whatever rod you use, use the same one. I always use this and I've been using this for. 20 years something like that okay um, and now we're going to get into rod technique anytime you place your generator on the ground this is the standard for locating right here anytime you do this that's when you walk around the generator Find your direction, find your line, track it out um, to locate your target. Uh, I've had many people, let me just use this one for now. I've had many people um, tell me they follow their rod. They follow it wherever it points they go. Well, if you're using this setup, you don't want to follow your rod. Now you can't get a direction with this setup, but you have to bring your rod in to your solar plex of your chest. You want to bring it in close to your body and just wait. And what your rod will do, it'll search like it's searching now. It'll go back and forth. It'll end up on a spot. Now you can turn your whole body, not moving your hand or anything, turn your whole body and if it stays in that one place it's hard to do without the generator on then you can consistently say you probably have a lock and you can get an idea of a direction and I'll show that in a minute um, other than that in this situation you're gonna be having your hand out to your side like it is here and you'll be searching this way where you get a good closure you want your arm even with your body shoulder down even with your body and your arm straight out to your side. On total directional system, this is what you want. This unit has the coil built into it. Uh, this is an image tracker set for gold and silver isotopes. It also has TV on it. And I design. I stopped selling the image tracker. I just built this for this setup for myself. 
um, and I'll show you how this functions here in a little okay, bit. Okay, I have this set for silver and I have it brought into my chest area here and I'm just waiting. Okay, it's pointing out to the same place I did on my other units and what you want to do is just wait because it'll eventually move and stop as you see it doing here. It's another lock. And just wait. There's another lock. That's the three targets I had earlier in the videos. And it'll go back and it'll start over and it'll just go from point to point. Whatever's in the area, it'll go from point to point. Now, if I wanted to walk out with this, say, let's track this one right here. Let's see what we got. We're just going to walk out. Now, as I get close or even with one of the ones I'm about to pass up, you notice the rod's turning. Now, that's when you would follow your rod with this type of setup because now it's pointing at one of the targets it pointed to previously but I'm now passing up so I want to ignore that I want to find the ones that's out here so we're gonna keep walking as you pass a target up your rod will want to close a, a point to it as it's doing now so if I turn towards the direction of the rod now remember I'm following my rod now yesterday the setup I had, or well, in the other videos, the setup I had, I said, do not follow your rod. Well, this one is set up to follow your rod. Now you can see it's pointing at the same place it did in my previous videos. Let's see if there's a ring around it, which there shouldn't be because. And here we have a closure. Same place. Now we're going to ignore this. We're going to go for another one. Let's see if there's anything else out this way. Bringing it in and waiting. Okay, I have the lock. Let's go out there and see where it's at. And it's staying consistent with its direction. Now this little unit has uh, EWC on it also, but it's at zero. Okay, let's see something here. Let me bring it in and see where I'm at. Okay, there seems to be a radius around here. You see how it's swinging back and forth? When you see it swing back and forth like that, brought into your chest area, it's pointing to the outside points of the ring. So I need to knock that down. So on, on my weight cancel, this is upside down here. On my weight cancel, I'm going to dial it to... 20%. Let's see what happens. Bring it back into my chest and we're just going to wait. Okay, it shrunk it down about half. You can see it bob bobbing back and forth. Okay, it's settled down. Let's continue on. The reason I stopped earlier because I noticed my rod was starting to close. See, there's still a radius here. But this is how you use... If you're going to follow your rod, 
uh, and, and if you're a mental dowser, you're not even worried about this, okay? Because mental dowsers, they just go out there and follow with their rod. Uh, I'm talking about people that use MFD and uh, LRL electronic systems. Okay, I have a silver round here. Pure silver. I'm going to put out from the generator a little ways just to give you an example of using getting a direction of your rod with this setup again you don't follow your rod with this setup but you can get a direction okay by bringing it into your solar pelt uh, plex here in your chest and waiting for the rod to move so we're set for silver I see EWC is zero so I'm gonna walk around here and I have it out in the direction I don't have anything so let's see what we get okay very light closure not giving it a lot of time okay line myself up as I did before I'm parallel to my body so my my target should be out this way which it is you can't see it it's right there So let's say, you know what, let's track this out and see what happens. So as before, you want to walk down the side of the line. Or you want to walk down on the line, either way. Okay, I'm getting a closure. If you want a correct frequency, okay, let's see my rod opening, my rod closing my foot down that coin should be right there if you're on the right frequency there's no ring around this coin because I'm on the right frequency if, it, if you were off then you'd have rings either direction from center frequency you will have rings so let me walk across the line okay I have a closure here back up go forward line myself up with the generator coming into me a little bit let me back up a little bit line myself up when I look over here there's a coin now let me show you what we can do let's come off the line let's say this coin or this target is 100 yards out I'm off the line. The coin's here. The generator's here. I'm going to bring my rod into my solar plex and let's see what it does. See how it moved out? And it'll lock onto your target. Just like that. Now you know if you're walking down a line and you know your target's far away, you can get off your line. 20 foot or more and do this and see how much further down the line your target is so if we walk this direction we should hit that coin which is right there and here's my ro rod closure your rod should close with your target under your foot if you're on the right frequency. Remember, I'm at zero EWC. As long as you set your magnetic field strength of the area you're in, you should have no problem. But that's how you use a direction. Now, if I wanted to, I can stand over this generator and do the same thing I did before with the unit that was locked. Now, 
I have you see it hitting that one just wait you have to give it time to react it's turning it stopped it's going out this direction it's wanting to move again stop now it's going out that direction now it should go to the coin too of course the coin is smaller than the other targets I've got out there so it may not it may not do that yes it is it's gonna go that way so it's going back to the target area if you use these methods in. you should increase your fines whether you're using a, a, a stationary system or you're using a mobile system uh, use the rod techniques correct rod techniques and the tracking of the signal lines you should increase your fines I would try not to use a loaded rod that's just me but you can use what you want just make sure you use the same rod because you you your body will be used to that uh, rod over time 